Two losing teams of the semi-finals are trying to end their quest in Morocco on a high by winning the bronze medal in the third-place playoff on Friday. The Nigeria Super Falcons will be crossing swords with the mayors of Zambia during this last clash of the African tournament as some consolation. I think to play with nine players um, for probably almost an hour just shows how gritty we are and we're not a team that's ever going to give up. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's hard to take. Congratulations to Morocco. Um, I actually hope they, they win it all. Um, they have a great crowd, great support. On the other hand, Morocco and South Africa are to contest the WAFCON final on Saturday night. The Atlas Lionesses are making history at home after qualifying for the first time to the World Cup and defeating Nigeria during the semi-finals. I'm so happy for the whole team, you know. We keep writing history, but I'm not surprised. We have a very, very good team and we deserve everything that we're doing so far. It's amazing. I know coming into this match, we knew Nigeria was, was a very tough opponent. They were one of the favorites of the, of the tournament. But well, uh, at the end, we, we played our football and we came out with the win, which is what we wanted. So very happy. As for the South African Banyana Banyana, they reached the final for the sixth time as they beat Zambia thanks to a penalty from Linda Mutlalo with the virtually the last kick of the game. The WAFCON final will take place here in Rabat at the Prince Moulay Abdullah Stadium, while Nigeria and Zambia will battle it out for the third place at the Mohammed V Stadium in Casablanca.